Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be building a CI-CD pipeline for an Angular application using the AWS Code Pipeline. Let's take a look at what our deployment architecture is going to look like. We'll be using an Angular application located in a GitHub repository. Then we'll configure the AWS Code Pipeline so that whenever we commit any changes to our Angular application, AWS Code Pipeline will detect the changes and we'll start the deployment process to our S3 bucket. Let's get started. In our Angular application, we need to create a YAML file in the root directory of our application, and the name must be buildspec.yml. This file will contain all the specifications and instructions for the build stage of our code pipeline, the environment variables, in our case the S3 bucket name, the Node.js version, the installation of the Angular CLI and all other dependencies, the build command and uh, also the base directory. Now we have to save the file, commit the changes, and push it to our remote repository. In our AWS Management Console, search for the S3 service. We are going to create a new bucket, give it a name, and we need to disable block all public access so we can access it from anywhere then click i acknowledge and create bucket now that our bucket is created let's open it and we need to go to the properties tab Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, we see the section Static Website Hosting, which is currently disabled. Click Edit to enable it. Here we need to specify the default page of our application, in our case will be index.html and the error page.html. In the permissions tab, we also need to add a bucket policy to make this bucket access public. In the AWS S3 documentation webpage, we can find an example of this bucket policy which we will reuse. Copy and paste the content from the documentation in our bucket policy configuration. Then replace the resource example with our bucket ARN name. And click Save Changes. Now, as you can see in the permission overview, our bucket has public access. Going back to properties tab, the, in the static website hosting, we can open the URL where our page will be located. If we click open, we'll see a 404 not found message because we haven't uploaded anything yet.
Now it's time to configure our code pipeline. In the management console, search for the code pipeline service. Here we are going to create a new pipeline, specify the name, and leave the default configuration settings. In the source stage, we need to configure a new connection with our GitHub repository. We will use GitHub version 2. We need to create a new connection, choose a name, and click Connect to GitHub. Here we need to install a new app and click Connect. In this window, you can choose all the repository from your GitHub or select an individual one. In my case, I will choose only one. Now we can connect with our repository. As you can see, we are ready to connect and we can select the repository name and the branch name that we are going to use. Read the default selection and click Next. In the build stage, we will use code build, AWS code build, and we'll create a new project. We need to specify a name. In the environment section, we will use a managed image Ubuntu as an operating system, a standard runtime, the latest image, the Linux as an environment type. We create a new service role. And we'll use the build spec YAML files that we previously previously created in our Angular application. And we'll also use a CloudWatch to store and see our logs. Because in our build spec file we have declared an environment variable for the bucket name, here we need to declare the variable. So we'll click on the add environment variable button. We will copy from our build spec file the variable name. Then from our S3 bucket, we will copy the ARN for our bucket. and paste it into the value input field. Now we are into our last uh, stage, the deployment stage. As a deploy provider, we will use the Amazon S3 service. We will select our bucket name. And very important, click on extract file before deploy. And here we can see a review of our configuration, which is ready to start. In the next page, we'll see all the pipeline stages and the status for every stage. Our first stage is the source stage, and here the pipeline will connect to our GitHub repository and will download our last commit. Under source, we can see our last commit ID and message. Now that the source stage was successful, the pipeline will enter the build stage will open up the build spec file and execute all the instructions. By clicking on the detail link, we can see the entire log of the building stage.
Because we have a successful build stage, the pipeline will enter into the deploy stage. In this case, we'll copy all the generated files from the disk directory into our S3 bucket. After completion, we can open up our S3 bucket, go into Properties tab, Static Website Hosting, and we can click on the URL to see our Angular application deployed. Now we are going to make a small change into our Angular application. We will update the title in the index.html page and commit the changes into our GitHub repository. The code pipeline will detect the changes, will pick up our last commit, build the application, and execute the deployment into the S3 bucket. Let's see it in action. Now let's refresh our web page, and as you can see, we have a new title. All we had to do was to commit the changes. I hope this tutorial has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for watching. 